The hardware required for establishing the connection, such as router or cables, is usually provided by the company. Means the hardware which is required for connection is provided by the company. When you register with an ISP for its services, an account is created and you are provided with the login details, username and password. Means if you want to use the internet facility, then you should register to you should you should register within company when you register when you register in the company then company provided username and password you connect to the internet by means of your account and this way the company keeps a track of your internal uses right if you want to use the internet facility of any service provider then you should you should then you should register yourself to the company when you register when you registered in the company then the company provided username and password and you can use internet facility with with that username and password right now next topic is world wide web the full form www is a world uh, the full form of ww is world wide web It is a collection of interconnected pages that contain text, pictures, audios, and videos. Right? World Wide Web is a collection of interconnected pages. Right? Interconnected pages, the collection of interconnected pages is known as World Wide Web. The various pages are connected using links. These, the, the, these pages are connected with the link it is a client server architectures www is a client server architectures means in this types of structure client the client which the client who want to access the who want to access the information then send a request to the server right and Server search that information and back uh, get back to the information to the client. Right? I want to say that uh, www is based on client server architectures. In the client server ar architecture, client client means user. User send a request to the server for access of any pages on the internet and the server search the information search the pages according to the request and get back to the information to the user right server search the pages based uh, server search the pages um, according to the rules and these rules are called http hypertext transfer protocol right i repeat once again www is a world wide web the full form of www is a world wide web and it is a collection of interconnected pages these pages are connected with the help of the link www is a client uh, client server architecture in client server architecture ser client means user send a request to the server to access the information over the internet server search the information based on the some rules and get back the information to the user the rule on which server search the the rule on which server works is known as HTTP hypertext transfer protocol right I hope you understand next topic is it is also known as W3 the short form of WWW is a 
First is LAN. The full form of LAN is Local Area Network. It is a computer network that is limited to a local area such as laboratory, a school, or an office, building, etc. Right? The full form of LAN is Local Area Network and it is a computer network that is limited to a local area such as laboratory, a school, or an office. Right? Means it is a group of computer connected to each other in a small area. It is a group of computer connected to each other in a small area such as office, a school, etc. Right? This is the figure of LAN you can see. Next is PAN. PAN, the full form of PAN is Personal Area Network. The full form of PAN is Personal Area Network. It is a computer network organized around a person. Right? PAN is a computer network organized around a person. Means it is a network arranged within an individual person. It is used for communication between devices such as phones, personal, digital assistant, printers, laptop and so on. This is the figure of PAN. It is used for connecting the computer devices of personal use, right? Such as phones, personal digital assistant, printer, laptop and so on. For example, a mobile network is the best example of PAN, right? Mobile network is the best example of PAN. A mobile network moves with a person. Suppose a person establish a network connection and then create a connection with other device to share the information. Then you on the hotspot, then other mobile will be connected with your mobile. So this is the example of PAN, right? I repeat once again, a PAN is a network arranged within an individual person and it is used to communicate between personal devices such as mobile phone, printer, laptop, PDA, headphone, etc. You can see in this figure, right? I hope you understand. Next types of network is MAN. The full form of MAN is Metropolitan Area Network. The full form of MAN is Metropolitan, et Metropolitan Area Network. It is a computer network that usually cover a large area. Means, it is a computer network that usually covers a large area than a lab. Means, it is a network that covers a large geographical area by interconnecting a different LAN to form a larger network like this. Right? You can see here Office A and this is a MAN. Office A connected to Office B using MAN. Right? And, and in Office A different uh, devices connected with within a LAN. Office B system will connect it with, uh, within a LAN and this office uh, in this and uh, the system will in offices are, connect, are connected in LAN and two LANs connected with the MAN right I repeat once again MAN is a network that covers a larger geographic area by interconnecting a different LAN to form a larger network Next types of network is WAN. The full form of WAN is Wide Area Network. The full form of WAN is Wide Area Network. It is a computer network that spans a wide geographical area. I mean, it is a network that extends over a large geographical area. A WAN may be spread across cities, countries or continents means what is a WAN? WAN is a computer network that extend over a large geographical area such as states, countries or continents. 
this is the figure of van a van is formed by connecting various lines and man you can see in this figure van is uh, van is uh, formed by connecting various land and man internet is the best example of that right so what is internet let's see the next topic is internet what is internet the full form of internet is international network the full form of internet is international network the internet is a worldwide system of interconnected network of computers internet is a worldwide system of interconnected networks of computers means it is a network of interconnected computer networks spread across the world right internet is a network of interconnected computer networks it is also called a network of networks internet is also called a network of networks the internet is also, uh, all the computers connected to the internet can communicate and share information right so we can say that internet is a network of interconnected computer networks spread across the world it is made up of various computer networks connected together these computers can communicate with each other to share their information right i hope you understand i repeat once again beta internet is a network of interconnected computer networks spread across the world these computers these computers are communicate with each other to share their information right now uses of internet the uses of the internet has seen tremendous increase in the past few years as it offers various advantage let's see some uses of internet you can get information on any topic the internet can be used to search and access information on any topic this feature of the internet is used extensively by the people to do project and research work right you can with the help of the internet you can search information on any topic from anywhere at any time next uses you can chat with people and send and receive emails right means with the help of the computer you can communicate with the people and send and receive emails to any to any part of the world at any time right emails video conferencing chat social network sites are some of the feature of the internet that let people communicate around the world right with that next is you can buy product on the internet nowadays it is very common with the help of the internet you can buy product companies use the internet to advertise and sell their product this is known as e-commerce right purchasing purchasing product on the internet is known as e-commerce next is the internet the internet is used for entertainment purpose such as listen to music movies and play music on the internet right internet is used for entertainment purpose such as playing uh, such such as listen to music uh, movies watch movies and playing game play online game also next is distance learning educations universities offer online courses in which the classes are conducted over the internet right next is you can book tickets and pay bills through the internet the internet is used by people to pay bills operate bank accounts and book tickets also next topic is history of internet arpanet 
Advanced Research Project a network set up by the US Department of Defense in the year 1969 laid the foundation of the internet. ARPANET In the year 1969, United States of America Defense Department established ARPANET Advanced Research Project Agency Network whose main interest was to develop some technology which can connect computers at the different location for better communication during the war time. Initially, they connected four computers. Later, they allowed universities and research organizations to use this network, due to which the network started growing and today it, it, uh, today it is present in its modern shape called internet right so this is the brief um, history of the internet internet was established in the year 1969 by the department uh, by the defense department of the u.s and the name of the internet is called arpanet the full form of arpanet is the advanced research project agency network so you can see that arpanet was the first network first internet right I hope you understand. Next topic is important terms. Let us discuss the few important terms related to the internet. First is ISP, www, web server, web browser, web page, website, and URL. These are the internet uh, internet terms. You should familiar with these terms. Let's see one by one. The first term is ISP, Internet Service Provider. The full form of ISP is Internet Service Provider. It is a company that provides internet access to the users, right? Internet, inter, uh, ISP is a company which provides internet facility, internet service to the users. Right? The full form of ISP is Internet Service Provider and it, it, and it is a company that provides internet access to the user. For example, Airtel, BSNL, Geo, Vodafone are the example of the internet service provider. Right? I repeat once again. ISP is the company which which provide internet facility to the user. Airtel, BSNL, Geo, Vodafone are the example of internet service provider. An ISP may provide different types of internet connection such as cable internet connection, digital, uh, digital subscriber line connection, satellite connection, wireless connection or Wi-Fi connection. We will discuss these types of connection in higher classes. The hardware required for establishing the connection such as router or cables is usually provided by the company. Means the hardware which is required for connection is provided by the company. When you register with an ISP for its services, an account is created and you are provided with the login details, username and password. Means, if you want to use the internet facility, then you should register to, you should, you should register within company. When you register, when you register in the company, then company provided username and password. You connect to the internet by means of your account and this way the company keeps a track of your internal uses, right? If you want to use the internet facility of any service provider, then you should, you should, then you should register yourself to the company. When you register, when you registered in the company, then the company provided username and password and you can use internet facility with, with that username and password. Right now, next topic is World Wide Web. 
the full form www is a world uh, the full form of www is world wide web it is a collection of interconnected pages that contain text pictures audios and video right world wide web is a collection of interconnected pages interconnected pages the collection of interconnected pages is known as world wide web the various pages are connected using links these the, the, these pages are connected with a link it is a client server architectures www is a client server architectures that means in this types of structure client the client which the client who want to access the who want to access the information then send a request to the server right and server search that information and back uh, get back to the information to the client right i want to say that uh, www is based on client server architectures in the client server arch architecture client client means user user send a request to the server for access of any pages on the internet and the server search the information search uh, the pages according to the request and get back to the information to the user right server search the pages based uh, server search the pages um, according to the rules and these rules are, are called http hyper text transfer protocol right i repeat once again www is a world wide web the full form of www is a world wide web and it is a collection of interconnected pages these pages are connected with the help of the link www is a client uh, client server architecture in client server architecture sir, client means user send a request to the server to access the information over the internet server search the information based on the some rules and get back the information to the user the rule on which server search the the rule on which server works is known as http hypertext transfer protocol right i hope you understand next topic is it is also known as w3 the short form of www is a next topic is web server what is a web server a web server is computer that store the web pages and process request made by the client a web server is computer that store the web pages and process request by the client right web server is a computer that save web pages and the process request made by the clients when a web server receive a request from a client it locates the document and send it back to the web client right means web server is a computer that deliver web pages and process for example if you enter the any url then it send a request to the server then server fetch the pages and send it to your browser i repeat once again web server is a computer that save web pages when user send a request for any pages then server fetch the, that page and send it to back to the computer 
to the client to the user okay i hope you understand i repeat once again web server is a server that store web pages and the process when a user request for any pages any web pages then server fetch the fetch that pages and after or uh, and after and after searching search the page it send back to the user right next is web browser web browser is a software that lets you access and navigate the world wide web web browser is a software that lets you access the pages on the world wide web means it is a software through which you can access the internet on your computer for example internet explorer mozilla firefox google chrome opera etc are the example of web browser next is web page the page that make up the world wide web are known web pages the page that make up the world wide web are known as web pages means the page web page web page is a document on the web web page on web page is a document on the web a web page is created using a language called hypertext markup language the page is designed using a language called html hypertext markup language right means if you want to design any web page then you should write that page in html means hypertext markup language we will learn this language in higher classes it can be accessed using a web browser the page may contain text image audio videos and links to other web pages called link right i repeat once again a web page the page that made up the world wide web are known as web page and it is created using language hypertext markup language a web page can a web page can contain image text audio video and links to the other pages these links are called hyperlinks right hyperlinks hyperlinks so what is a hyperlink a link through which we can jump to the next web page or a new section within a same web page is known as hyperlink right a link which is used to jump to a new web page or a new section of the same web page is known as hyperlink when you move the mouse pointer over a hyperlink the mouse pointer takes the shape of a hand when you move your mouse pointer over the hyperlink then the mouse pointer shape will be changed and the shape of the mouse pointer is the shape of a hand right i repeat once again a web page is a document on the web page it contains text pictures image links to the other web pages it is created using a language called html next topic is web visiting on visiting one web page to other page is known as surfing the web or navigating the web means when you move from one page to other page then it mean it then it mean that you are surfing the web or you navigating the web moving from one page to other page is known as surfing the web surfing the web next is website what is website a collection of related web pages linked to one another is known as website what is web website is a collection of related web pages to one another uh, which are which are linked to one another is known as website right the first page of a website is called the home page the first page of a website is called the home page the home page is just like your book uh, cover page of, of your book and website is a website is a similar to your book right 
next is url the url the full form of url is uniform resource locator the address of, of a web page or website is known as url right a url is the address of a web page or any other resources on the world wide web for example http www.google.coin http.wiki.answer.com right i repeat once again once again a url is the address of a web page or a website but, uh, it is just like a house number every house in the city has a unique address so that they can be identified easily similarly every website or web page has a unique address the this address is known as url to access the web page you should type the url of the website or any other web page on the address bar of the browser window a url is made up of three parts the first part is protocol second part is name of the server and third part is complete path right url made up of three part protocol name of the server and complete path so this is enough for today's class i hope you understand watch the video